He says that the Citizen Amendment Bill, CAB, has been passed in India, which discriminates against Muslims and denies them citizenship and leaves them stateless. Every day, we are having hundreds of demonstrations throughout India. Is it permissible to take part in a peaceful protest, rallies against it? First of all, no matter how sad situations are in a country, the Muslims must get together and must unite and must follow the Quran and the Sunnah. And this is not a choice. This is an obligation. Now, so many times our desires, our feelings drive us somewhere where the Sharia drives us another. And this is when a person's Iman is tested. So many times we would like to do something, but Islam prohibits it. And this is a test from Allah Azza wa Jal. At the time of the Prophet والسلام, when prayer was mandated upon the Muslims in Mecca, they used to pray in the direction of Jerusalem. But because they were in Mecca, they most of the time tried their best to leave the Kaaba between them and Jerusalem. So they would be praying towards both. When they migrated to Medina, Mecca was to the south, Jerusalem was to the north. So there was no possibility of combining. So they used to pray to Jerusalem for a period of time. And then this was abrogated and Allah ordered them to face Mecca. Allah Azza wa Jal revealed in the Quran how the ignorance, the hypocrites, the Jews started to object and complain. Those people of ignorance would say, why did they change direction of their prayer, their qibla? Allah tells us that the east and the west belongs to him. And he, subhanahu wa ta'ala, orders whom he wishes to face wherever he wishes. This is his will. We are servants of Allah. He tells us to do something, we do it. And Allah Azza wa Jal told us that this was simply a test, a fitna to those so that it would be clear who has faith and believes and hence follows and who does not and hence would refrain or would have doubts in his heart. So this is a test. Every incident we face in life is a test. Should I take a bribe or should I refrain and stick to what I believe in? Should I do this haram or not? And this happens on daily basis. Now, oppression, transgression, Zulm is being inflicted in so many places, in so many countries. Protests, demonstrations, and the likes are not part of Islam. None of the Salaf had ever done such a thing. This is something that the Muslims picked from the non-Muslims. And it doesn't make a difference whether it's a peaceful demonstration or a violent one. Because inevitably, de peaceful demonstrations will end up violent. And you can see that clearly in the news. Watch any country where the laymen protest 
and object publicly to what's happening, whether it's inflation, whether it is the rising of the uh, fuel prices, whether it is for democratic reasons or otherwise. And you will see violence. You will see looting. You will see destruction of property. And you will also see rape. And this is that demonstrated. So the concept of peaceful is not an option again. Some of the brothers and sisters object and they send me a lot of emails and they say that these demonstrations and protests are approved by the government. And still, as Muslims, we do not seek our approvals from other than the Sharia. Ah. And Islam tells us that this is not lawful. The cons far exceed the pros. And we see that and any person with logic, with intellect can find this out. You can see what the riot control police does to the protesters, women and men alike, bashing them and beating them with sticks, if not with tear gas, if not with rubber bullets, if not with live ammunition. For what? We have to protest. We have to make our sound heard. We ha who says you have to? Yes, nobody approves of transgression and what is happening. But at the same time, we cannot take means because these means are not justifiable if they are against the Sharia. If you go to the great scholars of Islam, Sheikh Abdul Aziz ibn Baz, Sheikh ibn Uthaymeen, Sheikh al-Albani, Sheikh al-Rajhi, the permanent committee for IFTA, they all prohibit demonstrations and protests. So what's the legitimate way of doing it? Well, first of all, it is true that not everyone is going to listen. So I would be joking if I said, oh, alhamdulillah, demonstrations stopped. They will not stop. They'll continue. And people will not listen to what I say or what other scholars may say. Because this is not what they want. And this is the problem with most sins. So our role, those who follow the Sharia, is to highlight their plight and what's happening there. Our role is to make their sound heard, but through legal means, through halal means. So flooding the social media with what's happening, with the transgressions, with the dhulm, with the lies claiming that they are a democracy. Showing the world their atrocities and their injustice and their racism for only selecting Islam and targeting the Muslims. This is all legal. No one says that this is hatred speech, like the trend now is to use anything that you say as a Muslim and condemn it as hatred speech. But when the non-Muslims talk against us or say anything bad about Islam, this is freedom of speech. This is the right of expression. So your role is to spread the word, to make this public, to make this dominating the media. And if it, the TV and the newspapers and the likes would not air any of this, you use the so social media. 
and we have 1.7 billion Muslims who can make this alive. With this, inshallah, there will be a difference and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.